This week on Home and Away in Australia, Xander takes drastic action as Mackenzie and Felicity's feud continues, while Stevie refuses to head to set a shooting begins on All Our Tomorrows. She's the lead actress in All Our Tomorrows, the new rom-com which is about to begin filming in Summer Bay. Yet as the first day of production rolls around, the usually confident Stevie Marlowe is nowhere to be found. Lead actress Stevie had brought Remy to the fancy house where she and Nelson were staying, but Neelan had the same idea, whisking Bree away from Summer Bay on the back of his motorbike to their luxury pad. If seeing Bree and Nelson kissing wasn't enough of a shock, Remy was in for the surprise of his life when he saw his ex happily jump on the back of Nelson's motorbike. Remy's refusal to give up his motorbike was a major contributor in his and Bree split, so he can't understand why she's willing to jump on the back of someone else's bike. Seeing his ex move on with someone else proved surprisingly difficult for Remy, and he came to the realization that he couldn't keep dating Stevie, especially as most of their hookups ended with them practicing lines together. At the end of last week, Remy ended his fling with Stevie, coldly telling her, running lines, giving pep talks, I can't do this. I'm not your boyfriend. I'm out. Later, Stevie tried to reassure Remy that she wasn't looking for a boyfriend. But when she tried to continue with their no-strings-attached fun, Remy shot her down once again. Stevie then joined Cash and Eden for drinks at Salt, and the pair were shocked to see just how quickly Stevie was downing her cocktails. As Cash reminded her that she had an early start the following morning, she dismissed him, telling him she could handle a few drinks. Yet, on the morning that production of All Our Tomorrows was set to begin, Stevie was nowhere to be found. When Cash finally tracked her down, he found her emotional on his sofa, where she told him that she's not a real actor, and that she's not doing the film. Suffering from imposter syndrome, and still in shock after the recent incident with her stalker and now her breakup, she refuses to leave the house and head for set. As Stevie pours herself an early morning glass of wine, it's on cash to try and talk her around, sober up, and get her to set on time. It's sad to see Stevie unravel and drink her way through her issue, Nicholas Cartwright explains in the latest edition of TV Week. I think Cash really sees the best in Stevie and it's hard to see her as anything other than a plucky go-getter, but it also humanizes her for him. As director Nelson waits on set, his patience is running thin. He turns to Alf, Raymar, explaining that the film means everything to him. Stevie knows that they're working to a very tight budget and can't afford any delays, so why is she throwing their dreams away? Will Stevie make it to set?